YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with a new seasonal challenge. When I finished Five by Fall, I decided not to join in Six, Car Six by Christmas because I already had something ending on Christmas that is the 12 Empties of Christmas, which I will link down below if you would like to watch it. But I was thinking, well, what's about four months away from the end of the 15 by Halloween challenge that I'm doing? And it's about Valentine's Day, so I was kind of thinking about that. And then two girls, Glamour with Grace and, yeah, Kristen. They came up with the idea of Love to Project Pan, finish 14 by February 14th. So I thought that was a really cute way of doing it, so I decided to join in. So I have 14 products. I have seven makeup and seven general beauty stuff. Everything that I cannot measure progress on, unless it's just like opaque packaging, I've actually taken a picture of this time. So we can actually see how it goes along. So first thing I have is the MAC Fix Plus. Uh, because MAC can be really weird about taking stuff that has marks on it, I stuck a sticker on it so that I can mark my progress. I actually picked up stickers just to mark this. This isn't really my favorite product. Uh, I think it smells kind of weird, honestly. So I'm really ready to get this out of my collection so that I could buy a different settings for me. The next thing I have is something that I have to take a picture of. It's like the one thing that I haven't yet because I had to run and grab it at the last second. It is the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. As you can see, it has already been repressed from before because I had it in my finish seven by spring or eight by summer where I wanted to hit pan on it. Well, I hit a lot of pan on it. So at one point I repressed it and I've been using it on and off. So this is my oldest powder currently. So I figured it's time to use it up. Next, we have a CoverGirl and Olay the Depuffer Eye Concealer. This is about where I'm currently at right now. And while this is okay for a concealer, uh, I've really fallen in love with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer because I had some samples of it. So I would like to get this out of my collection so that I can go buy that. Okay, next I have an eyeshadow that if you watch my Pro Project Pan Roulette and Pan That Palette update, you would be familiar with. It is the cream shadow in the Physician's Formula Canon Classics. It has been repressed because it did break at one point because I dropped it. I want to finish it. I don't even want to just hit pan. I would really like to finish it and I am totally sure that's possible in four months. So, yay! It is hot in here. <laughs> Let's see, next we have the Julep Illuminator. Unfortunately, there's no way that I can show progress on this. I just don't like this, so I really want it out of my collection. I don't think it does anything. It is technically in the color Pick Me Up. I mean, it's black packaging. I can give you a swatch though. There it is, a kind of a heavy swatch like there, right there. It looks like a concealer, but it's supposed to be an illuminator. So, I don't know. I forget to use it all the time, even though I want it, you know, gone and out of my life. So hopefully sticking it in a project will make me remember that it actually exists. Now I have something that was in a project pan earlier this year sorry it's, but I didn't quite I didn't finish it but I've gotten a lot of progress since then it is the Jordana made to last eyeshadow pencil in eternal white and as you can see there's like nothing left to it but I did make a little measurement on a piece of paper right here and hopefully this will be done soon because I've been kind of working on this all year and it's just taking forever and the last makeup product, or it's something that I count in makeup. What do I do with it? There it is. It is the, what is this called? The Soft Lips Cube. I know this has like a flavor, but I don't know it. Hmm. I got this, I got one of these in a swap last year and then I got a couple as a gift at one point. So I have like three of these and they're nice, but I want to use them up before they go bad. This one doesn't go bad until uh, July of 2016 because they actually put like, you know, you know, dates on these, which is actually really smart. Probably has to do with the little bit of sunscreen that's in it. Whew, it's hot. But I would like to get that used up. Now, 
for the non makeup things uh, perfume samples is number one i just want to go through as many of these as possible because i have collected a ton of them it's, it's gotten kind of ridiculous uh the one that i'm currently working on is tokyo milk's dark and tainted love but it's a stopper it's a dabber it doesn't have a spray so these take longer for me to go through Hopefully I can knock some of those out in four months just because the collection has gotten ridiculous. It has become a collection and I don't need a collection of freaking perfume samples that you get for free. And I'm getting another one in Birchbox when I receive that, so yay. I have the next shower gel I want to go through. It is the Body Shop's Early Harvest Raspberry Shower Gel. This is brand new. It's got a mark like up here. But hopefully, I could go, I'm sure I could go through this in four months. I don't know how some people go through a different shower gel every month. Because it takes me forever to go through them. I found that out in 15 by Halloween, actually. So I wanted to go through three, and I've only gone through two. Or by the end of it, I will have only gone through two. The next thing I have is the corresponding body butter. It has also never been touched. I got this from TJ Maxx a while back, so I need to use this. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. They need to make this raspberry scent permanent because I would buy it all the time when I ran out. I actually have a backup of this and the shower gel as well. That's why it's like, okay, I need to, if I'm going to do the next, the next project I do, I'm definitely going to put those in there to make sure that those are what I use next. Okay, so next we have the Physician's Formula Argan Oil. It is currently up to there. I use this on my face every night. I mix it in with a, my, I mix a few drops in with my moisturizer. This is actually really good stuff. So I would totally recommend it if you've been curious about it. Cause it's like, I want to say $14.99, but I mean, you're getting a nice sized bottle. I think it's one flowing ounce or 30 milliliters. So basically a foundation size. It's got a nice glass bottle. The stopper work, the little Dropper, not stopper, works completely fine. So if you've been thinking about this, definitely try it out. Hmm, let's see. I have something that I got from a farmer's market. It is the premium quality hand balm, formulated to soothe and heal extra dry skin. I use these on my feet and I want, it is a natural product. I've had it for a year, so I definitely need to finish it off. It is all the way up here because it rolls up, so that's how I measured it. Um, I, this is just another thing that I want a reminder to actually use because if I don't remind myself, I forget. And I have really nasty feet. So I know you don't want to hear that, but that's why I want to remember to use it. Next thing is something with opaque packaging, can't see through it, which is never fun, but it's been hanging around my collection for a year, so I want to Move it out. It is the L'Oreal Everstrong Sulfate Free Fortify System Overnight Hair Repair Treatment. Now, I thought this was like a leave-in treatment after you wash your hair. No, you apply this to dry hair at night, concentrating on the ends, apparently. So I misunderstood what this was when I bought it. I, this is one of the things that everybody was going crazy over at the Dollar Tree last year. I picked up two, actually. I used one in a giveaway. It is 3.4 flowing ounces. I have no idea if I can go through this in time, but I'm going to try. And finally, I actually do have a straight hand cream. What I'm going to use as a hand cream. It is the Nivea Soft Face, Body, and Hands Moisturizing Cream. I would never use this on my face, nor would I recommend it. It is full. I did just take the wrapper off and I took a picture of it. I really like the Nivea smell. I know some people don't, but I do. So I actually have two of these. I got one in an Instagram bag, but yeah, I need to go through these like little random things that are hanging around my house. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.